Good evening. So, what I'd like to talk about today is uh, how to clear the theory exams and how to prepare for it during the three-year course, that is DNB or MS Orthopedics. So, basically, Orthopedics is not a subject where you have all the topics there given in one book. The topics are there scattered everywhere and uh, it's not just one book that you need to refer because uh, there are varied topics like pediatric orthopedics, spine, trauma and cold orthopedics and operative orthopedics that you need to refer to different books only then you will get a clear understanding of all these topics so there is something called learning to understand and then to know the subject and there is something called learning to pass the exam so basically if you want to uh, do justice to your orthopedic course you need to refer to all these standard textbooks like Campbell for operative orthopedics Tagjan for pediatric orthopedics and uh, Mercer, Turex and uh, also uh, Rockwood for trauma so uh, these are very essential and uh, if you do that uh, definitely you will get an understanding of all the good uh, concepts and all and uh, as far as exams are concerned you need to make notes from these textbooks but due to the time restraint and the work that is there in the theater and wards if you're not able to do that there are a good set of notes available called Davangiri notes and uh, these are available online so they essentially are the notes that were made by postgraduates from these standard textbooks along with the references so they basically cover everything everything that's necessary for uh, passing the exam and to know each and everything about all the topics and uh, so that is one thing besides that what I have done is whatever material was available with me I have made I uh, mentored a course uh, at uh, drleander.com and uh, I am the orthopedic course mentor at uh, mentorexam.com so you can get that if you could not get a uh, hold of these notes and uh, basically the exam it consists of four parts and uh, uh, you don't know if uh, which day which question is going to come so there is no exact categorization sometimes you can have a question that you thought should be in pediatric orthopedics but it might come in a trauma paper so there is no hard and fast rule but you need to incorporate as many as flowcharts diagrams and label them and write concise in a point wise fashion because it's not like before where you write uh, uh, pages and pages of notes and uh, you think you get more marks it's not like that anymore the examiner looks for keywords and uh, looks if you are talking to the point and only then you get marks and uh, each question has subdivisions so uh, you need to go through the past five years papers if you do that you will get good confidence and uh, solve question banks are available online you can get that or you can solve the papers on your own uh, so Basically, if you do that, then 100% you can clear the exams. So, all the best and make sure you revise whatever you have studied. Don't try to learn something new right before the exams. If you made notes, go through that. If you have your seniors notes, go through that. If you have downgiving notes, go through that. So, basically, you have to revise everything at least three times. And... Uh, only then you will be able to cover all the important points that you want to write during the exam within the stipulated time frame and never leave any question unattempted and even if you think you don't know the answer take the pen and write down something definitely uh, you'll remember something and uh, you will get marks for it all the best i wish you do good for the exams